Fine then. Continue. So then he's poking his tongue all over my neck and whispering things I'd rather not repeat. You're under oath now, Nicole. Huh. Well, you asked for it. He called me his voluptuous teen property and said my sexual willingness would pull a fine ransom on the black market. (gasps) All right, all right, enough of this. No, this is hard. Keep going. Like, I'd love to, but I kind of make too good of decisions to get high with a stranger. Oh, come on. Don't be a pussy. We fucking go to the same school. I'm a student athlete. People know me here. Yeah, student athlete's kind of the red flag here. If I pop too many, I'm going to wake up with my thighs covered in butter. Bro, I have done literally nothing to give you this impression of me. You ever played with a sleeping teammate's ass? Well, like not in a gay way. Uh Uh-huh. How is that gay? Whatever, I'm going to lunch. It was nice meeting you, very straight, (laughs) non-rapist. Yeah, making friends. Uh Oh, cool, you joined too? Yeah, it's my heritage. I have to support it. But do you think the cross is kind of stretched out on my shirt? No, it looks fine. I don't know. I'll probably see Mr. White to trade it in for a swastika shirt. I could have sworn there were less of you last week. You know, Jeffrey, this might be sudden, but, like, you want to take me out later? Kill you? I couldn't do that, Nicole. Unless, of course, Mr. White told me to. No, I mean, like, take me out on a date? D- date? You mean, like, dinner and hugging and kissing? Yeah, all of it. But you're pretty busy with all this white pride stuff, huh? Oh, uh, well, not that busy. I gotta egg a synagogue this Friday, but I could make time. Aw, uh, you know, this Friday's like my only free day for the next, like, forever. So damn, too bad. W- what? Oh, well, maybe I don't have to. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, what's up? Long time no see. Jeffrey, I just wanted to remind you that you need to bring the extra large eggs this Friday. We need a big splat. Of course. Yeah. About that? Oh my god, I don't want to hear it. I'm so busy as it is. Seriously, if you fuck this up, you're out. Jeffrey, what about our date this Friday? What the fuck is this? I thought you'd die for this cause. Sorry, Jekka, but I kind of just did this because no one else would talk to me. But now that Nicole's asking me out, well, having a girlfriend's way more important than the final solution. Dude, what? You little fucking race traitor. Mr. White trained me for this moment. Aryan students! Imperial Scribe Jekka! How may we serve you? Jeffrey here is no longer our brother, and he must be eliminated. Take care of him. Finally, I thought you'd never ask. Yeah, I hated being seen with him on rallies. Uh, uh, oh, Nicole, we just gotta take care of a little business here, but you wanna hang out after school? Are you actually just gonna have him killed right here? Well, duh, but it's just politics, you know. Help me! I'm gonna break your whore nose right now, you fucking bitch! Oh my god, please save me, Jeffrey! Okay, buddy, you wanna hurt the girl, you gotta go through me! I was just gonna make her nose bleed, but I'll make sure you never walk again. Huh? You can't do that! I'm gonna fucking kill you! Oh god, no! Ow! My glasses! Sorry, I don't know the politically correct way of asking this, but are you actually retarded? Uh, I don't know who told you, but when I got tested, that was supposed to be a secret. Fucking Trody can't keep his mouth shut. Just having a friend named Trody. What are you trying to say? You are a quintessential dipshit. Quinn, uh, I don't know what the fuck that means, but I'm gonna kick your ass. You're gonna hit a girl? What the fuck is wrong with you? Think I care? You don't know me. I beat the shit out of my mom if she was asking for it. Hey, what you guys talking about? This guy here said he's gonna kick my ass. Can you believe it? (gasps) Why would he hurt someone as beautiful as you? I know, that's what I'm saying. You meathead jocks are all the same, treating women like objects. So what? You treat girls like the plague. You never fucking touched one. Oh yeah? You're real tough. I'll have you know I'm saving myself for marriage. You can't even tie your shoes. It's not saving when every store's closed, you fucking bitch mo. (laughs) Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure the only reason you harass girls is to make up for the time I saw you kissing the football captain. What the fuck did you just say? Fucking your way to the top. Cool, dude. (laughs) I'm gonna break your whore nose right now, you fucking bitch. Ah, he's gonna break my nose! Stop it! Screw it.
screaming won't save you now. Hold on, hold on! What do you think you're doing? Nothing, coach. I'm just gonna punch this slut in the face until one of her eyes stop working. Jesus Christ! Kyla, you won't be laying a hand on our lovely and very beautiful new student, Nicole. Oh, what the fuck? Everyone's against me! I wanna go home and stab my hamster! No, actually, he was taking me out on a date. Nicole! Up here! How'd he get on the roof? <laughs> what? You want it not boring? Well, you got it! I'm gonna jump! Oh, oh shit! What's what going on? What is this? Kyler! Get down from there now! No problem! I'm gonna stick the greatest landing of all time for you, Nicole! <laughs> Am I awake right now? Don't worry, Miss Lynn! MySpace showed me how to land risky jumps without injury! I'm coming down! <laughs> no! Stay there! Do something, Nicole. You're the only one he'll listen to. Isn't this your job? I don't care if he gets himself killed. Now's not the time. Just keep him talking. Fine. Uh, Kyler? What is it? Last thing before I jump! Hey, I gotta be honest. I don't really give a shit if you stick some awesome landing. What? Really? Yeah, really, cause like- Cause you love me for me! You don't need some wild display of courage to be my girlfriend! No, actually, I'm just not gonna be your girlfriend either way. You had zero chance from the start if it makes you feel any better. What? No! Why did you say that? No, Kyler, it's okay. Just take some deep breaths back off from the ledge. All I deserve is a deep plunge. You did this, Nicole! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what was that 90s TV show? Did I do that? I'm tr- Miss Lynn, sorry, but this is kind of important. Hey, yeah, I'll call you back. You'll get the number for lip injections after. Okay, bye. You do illegal plastic surgery out of your basement or something? No, my friend does. How can I help you girls? It's about Mr. White in photography. He's kind of- Stop! Stop! I get this conversation once a year. You've known about this? Unfortunately. And you're just okay with it? Absolutely not, but his defenses have my hands tied, I'm afraid. It's sick. I'd be inclined to agree. Another level of twisted, but he's made very strong cases for covering himself in peanut butter to pose for the students, so I'd rather not push the issue further. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, this isn't about that? We're here to report he's trying to recruit his students for white nationalism rallies? Okay, this I didn't know about. Yeah, he asked me to pose for a weekend shoot and kept going on about how racially pure my skin was. You had your clothes on, right? Why wouldn't I? No reason. Go ahead. So we talked to him in the dark room, and he's just outwardly trying to sell us on a white pride. Oh, man. Uh, well, that is cause for concern. Were any racial slurs used? Not really, but it's more like the overall content. I'm afraid I can't help you then. What? For a claim like that, you'd need pretty hard evidence to get him removed from the faculty entirely. Also, he may or may not have rather compromising photographs of me, so I'd rather not get involved. He may or may not have pictures of you in neo-Nazi shirts? Cause I may or may not have been there. Actually, I may or may not have been covered in baby oil. <sighs> well, I guess racism wins. Can we see the pictures? Get out of my office. So then my friend got the DLC, this downloadable content. It's like $10, like dude, kinda not worth it for the gun. Why are you talking to me about video games? Just something, you know, uh, what, you don't like play video games or something? I'm a thin girl. Do I fucking look like I play video games? I'd rather play dead at a necrophilia convention. Oh. Well, yeah, you know. I know what? Did... Did you hear about how Mountain Dew makes guys sterile? Yeah, from you and every other guy who reads the internet to try to be interesting. Ha, ah, nice rolly backpack, you fucking four-eyed, double-dick-sucking bitch. Hey, stop kicking it! This backpack holds priceless reading materials! Oh yeah? Like what? Like Bernstein bears make eye contact? Hey, what is this, fourth grade? It is home to some of my favorite manga books. Manga? What is it, like Asian or something? Japanese, thank you. Some of which go on to be very popular television shows. Wait, can't you watch half those on cartoon channels? Why the hell would you read it? Uh, oh, that's it. Dude, how do you care about anything this much? W what do you mean? 
Like, okay, he thinks your Chinese cartoon books are stupid. Why defend it? Stay out of this, you... you girl! I'll just let this play out. I should beat your ass for liking anime. What? What are you talking about? Yeah, do it. I'm bored. Yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. Don't pull my hair! Oh, I broke his glasses. I gotta split! Oh yeah, me too. I'm on probation. I'll catch you around. Why aren't you running off with them? They're pussies. I'm not afraid to watch someone grovel in pain. Well, they're all just assholes. That guy's been making fun of me for like an anime since the sixth grade. Then just stop liking anime? But I can't do that. Anime is my favorite thing ever. My life. How are you emotionally invested in consumption? Are you trying to make anime? I don't get it. Kinda. I make fan art based on the works of Sento Takahashi. You know that anime will exist with or without you, right? No. Wait, what do you mean? Like, Senti Takamoki, whatever the fuck his name is. If you died, he wouldn't care. He wouldn't even know. What's your point? How do you give a fuck about anything that doesn't give a fuck about you? Hey, in a translated newsletter, he said thank you to each and every one of his fans. That includes me. Oh, he writes in English? No, his fan club translated it from Japanese. That's my point. He can't even talk to you. You think he cares about you? Well, uh... Anyway, you want to stick to getting beat up over children's media? I'll leave you to it. Wait! Huh? What? Thanks for talking to me. Not many people are as nice to me as you are. That was nice to you? God damn it. Yeah, I'm Jeffrey, by the way. What's your name? Ugh, Nicole. Wow. Okay. Bye, Nicole. Yeah, yeah, okay. Look, it's the first day. No funny guys, no comedians, no bringers of the ha-ha, okay? This year's gym class isn't last year's gym class. We're gonna really buckle down on physical fitness. I'm fit as fuck. I ain't buckling shit. (laughs) (laughs) Young lady, what's your name? Nicole. You want my phone number, too? (laughs) This is only the first class, Nicole. You won't be a problem all year, will you? No, sorry. Good. Now everybody better dress out every class. If you don't, it's a zero. Hit the locker rooms. I'll see you back here in ten. Where the hell did I put the shirt? Why does it even need the school logo? I'll just bring my own shitty shirts. Having trouble, Nicole? Um, can you... You can't be in here. Saw you were lagging behind. I thought you might need a spare shirt. Oh, thanks. Stop looking. Now, please. You know something? You're feisty. I like that in my female students. I got a feeling you like something else in your female students, too. See? You just snap back like that. I like it. It's sexy. You are saying this to a 16-year-old in the girls' locker room. Come on, what's age? Look at you, you're mature enough. Ah! The gym teacher's trying to fuck! Honey, quiet down there, need this job. He won't get his hands off this minor ass! Oh my god, what are you doing in the girls' locker room? Were you really grabbing some minor ass? Minor is in underage? I think my ass is pretty major, to be honest. I've been at this school for 15 years. No one will believe you. The security cameras will. I know installing those spy ca- security cameras would screw me over. This might sound fucked up, but I'm almost happy our gym teacher was a pedophile. I'm definitely happy our gym teacher was a pedophile. Do you see all this cool shit we bought? Yeah, the settlement money is pretty nice. My mom was like, oh, it's hush money. I'm like, whatever. The media wouldn't pay us nearly this much. Who needs morals when you have designer? Oh, hey, I know you. What's up? This is the girl's bathroom? Really? Nah, no way. So what brings you here? Hmm, what would bring a girl to the girl's bathroom? Skipping. Duh. Now get out. Oh, come on, wait. What class are you cutting? Photography. The teacher tried making me do shit for free, and I am not about that. Photography? Oh, me too. Crazy. So even if I don't skip, I can't avoid you. Great. You're a cool girl, you know that? What? I just like you, you know? Dude, get in line. Nobody knows how to leave me the fuck alone here. So honest. Like, I feel like I could really open up to you. You have a lot of... Emotional conversations? I listen to a lot of deep bands, so I can never find a girl that can keep up with me in that department. Did... 
You just threw that deep bands thing in there with no context. Come on, can I at least know your name? Nicole. Oh, hi Nicole. You wanna have a sit down with me? You know, talk it up? Yes, guidance counselor, let's talk it up. Hey, come on, no need for the jokes. I can tell you're fragile inside, me too actually. Oh yeah, how can you tell? You know, like, your face and stuff, just how you are. You've known me for literally two days. All I need is two minutes. <laughs> you want to get to the emotional part? Huffing developer is a lot more exciting than this. Look, it's just, I don't know, people don't understand me. Like this girl saw I was listening to pop punk and was like, I thought punk was anti-pop. Like she didn't understand. I would have told you the same thing. Pop punk's for boring suburban kids who want to live in LA. But it's deeper than that? Like, I feel like no one at this school gets me. Just curious, were you saying that before using the internet? Man, like, I don't know. There's gotta be more out there. You haven't actually replied to a single thing I've said. How is this a conversation? I guess it's not, huh? Not so much a conversation, more like a vent sesh. Well, anyway... Oh, yeah, 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 I'll let you go now. But, oh, Nicole, thanks for listening. You're a good friend and stuff. Gee, thanks. You're a good person I was forced to talk to. How is it two ninety nine for a drop it like it's hot ringtone? It's bleeps and bloops. Fuck out of here. Who is this? Wait. Hey, thanks for listening in the women's restroom. Oh, it's that weirdo. How do you get my number? Whatever, let's see. I love seeing you and hearing your voice. Your attitude just works for me, IDK. Yeah, IDK's real romantic. I wanted to show you what you do to me. Show me what? I don't see- Oh my god, all three inches of it? What the fuck? Why? Then again, he kind of just put himself out there like that. Send it to her, send it to her, send it to him. Barely know him, but let's give it to him too. Send it to her. Hey guys, what's going on here? We having fun? You hear the new drops at the CD shops? <laughs> oh, hey Crispin. Yeah, I would have, but my after school time was kind of short. Yeah, it wasn't long at all, right? Oh, sucks to hear, bro. What happened? Literally everyone at school seen your micro penis. <laughs> what? No way. How? Because you took a picture of it, you fucking idiot. Settle down, everyone. Every week you kids get worked up over some tiny thing. <laughs> oh, you saw it too. <laughs> what is so funny? Crispin's been sending out pictures of his junk to every girl in school. That's not how I heard it. I thought it was just one girl. And then she sent it to everyone. <laughs> Who was it then? Tell me, Crispin. The, the new girl, Nicole. Sexually harassing our new students? You're in big trouble, mister. All right, I'll, I'll see you later then. Hey, I've seen your ass around here before. It's my first day, you sure about that? Whatever, all you hot girls look the same. That was real discreet. Gotta be, especially cutting under this school security. Uh-huh. And a girl like you skipping the first day? Are you a bad bitch or what? I'm an abysmal bitch. Fucking cool, rock on. So what do you do here, like cheerleading? Doesn't pay, so no. Well, I'm on the lacrosse team. Last season, we went 7-5, and five, like above 500, not bad. It's my life, pretty much. How can you make lacrosse your life? There's no pro league for it, is there? Well, I'm sure they're out there. Besides, we only lost like five games because I fucked my knee up and couldn't play the rest of the season. But it's pretty badass because they keep giving me Percocet. Cool, seriously? How much? Enough to demotivate an elephant. I got them right here, you want to do them with me? They only kind of get you fucked up, but it's good. Free Percocet? Hell yeah, hand it over. This is actually my Mexican cartel supply, but it probably won't kill you. My feet feel great. I could fall asleep standing right now. Yeah, I told you, it was good shit. I'm sorry, are we lost? Both of you should be in class. This isn't a skip period. Oh, fuck. Uh, hey dude, we were just on our way, you know? What are you hiding there? Oh, shit. Prescription pills? Whose are these? Actually, it doesn't matter. You're both in big trouble! In trouble? Fuck you, I'm not in anything! 
Uh, yeah, you definitely are in trouble. Well, you're in the Model Train Fan Club, you freak. I'm not in the Model Train Fan Club. I just sponsor the Model Train Fan Club. That's even worse. You look new here. I'm not sure what you think you're doing, but I can assure you it won't last long. A bitch can't pop perks here? What the fuck? What if I had glaucoma? But you don't have glaucoma. And you just confessed to drug use on school grounds. Come with me, both of you. Honey... What the fuck is wrong with you? A two-day suspension on the first day of school? It was like one pill. He's just mad I made him feel insecure, so he threw the book at me. Look, I know you're acting out because of your father. Mom, literally no one ever has actively thought, I'm gonna act out today. What does that even mean? I'm gonna look cool by disrespecting my parents. This is a world you and everyone who crochets created. She kind of has a point with that, Bob. You kind of need to get a fucking job. You're 26. I told you the economy's bad. Blame Bush. And these girls I chat with online fully agree. Mom, still, I can't believe you're taking the school side with this. It's totally against all my citizen rights. They had you sign something that waives those rights. You're 16. You don't even have rights. Well, you do, right? Sue the school or something. You're at the only public school for miles and miles. What happens if you're gone for good, huh? I'm not moving again, I'm not paying for private school, and I'm definitely not homeschooling. Fine, I won't blow it then. I won't squeal a bit. A teacher could just rape the shit out of me, but I won't say a word because we gotta stay in this shithole. Good. I'm glad we understand each other. Mom! I could just get assaulted? You wouldn't care? You've been pulling the sexual assault card since you were 12. Hasn't happened yet, has it? That's not the fucking point! Well, you can figure out a new excuse locked in your bedroom for the next two days. Fine! I have my own computer. Grounding doesn't do shit anymore. Yeah, baby, you hear this? This is some real music. Now join my party chat and we can game. What What the fuck are you doing? It's 1 a.m. I go back to school tomorrow. Bro, you're being seriously fail right now. Seriously fail? Those words don't even go together. You sound like an idiot. Look, I'm just recording a little voice message for this hottie I met online that I'm done, okay? This is like the fifth hottie in two days. Do you know how old any of these girls are? Like, legal in her country, don't worry about it. Oh my god, this is bad. I'm just trying to score some 15-year-old Canadian ass. Hop off it. 15 isn't legal anywhere. Calling her Canadian ass doesn't make that better. Well, no. You know how, like, Canadian bacon is just ham? Canadian ass is just a mature 15-year-old. See? Same thing. You're... Oh my god... Could you just help me record this message so we can both go to bed quicker? What's the point? Whatever girl you're hitting up is probably ugly compared to what I could find. You haven't even seen her avatar. She's like so hot. Where are you logged in at? I bet I could find a better one. You're on. See? This girl right here. Kinky Kenzie 93. Her bio's like, only interested in older guys, so hit me up whenever, up for anything. Man, she's sexy. She's also 14. Shut up with that ageist bullshit. Oh man, she's just a town over too. I'm gonna message her, what should I say? You're like a legal adult, shouldn't you know how to do this by now? Yeah, but you're a girl. You know what girls wanna hear, come on. All right, fine. Um, first tell her you're 26. Girls who like older men are all about that age difference. Okay, what else? Say you want to buy her drugs and alcohol. And no pussy shit, like full-on heroin. I'm sure other guys promise that too, though, right? When guys hit you up, what do they never do? Hmm. Oh, at the bottom, type an acrostic poem using your driver's license number. I don't know. But, like, have the message of the poem be about how you don't want to use a condom. Dude, that's like genius. She's gonna so want the D. What do you want? Are you dating site user Heavy D No MC? Yeah, but I don't know what that has to do with you busted in here. By the way, that's like a sick user name, right? You're under arrest uh, for uh, digital misconduct with a minor. Oh, that Kenzie bitch snitched me out. God damn it. Rest assured, there was no Kenzie. We can talk all about how you fell for a sting operation downtown. I was set up. Fucking Nicole, you bitch! My first phone call is gonna be a bomb threat to your friends! My big mistake wasn't getting suspended, but getting suspended on the first day before meeting anyone. Now I can't look badass when I come back. 
Hey, what's up? I haven't seen you around for a couple days. Fuck off and die. Uh, uh, all right. Hey, you don't look familiar at all. Are you new here? Kinda. I'm back from a two-day suspension. It's the third day of school. I don't beat around the bush. You're cool as shit. What's your name? Call me Nicole. Hey, I'm Jekka. So, how do you know Crispin? Who's Crispin? That guy you were just talking to. Oh, guitar pick necklace? Both days I've been here, he's tried talking to me. I have no idea who he is. He's kind of nice. I wouldn't be surprised if he burned down a convenience store, but yeah, he's nice. I'll tolerate just about anyone after being locked up with my brother for two days. Oh, is he younger? Into really loud, violent video games? Close. He's 26 and into really loud, violent video games. Oh, that's tragic. He lives at home still? Yeah, he's never even attempted couch surfing. Can he get, like, a boyfriend to live off or something? No, he's not gay. At least not that kind. And then can he, like, turn gay and get a boyfriend to live off? Fucked up. I asked that exact same question, and all he said was, bottoms don't top FPS leaderboards. Oh, so he's, like, really into video games. Is he one of those guys that, like, end up on the news for messaging kids? Last night, he begged a 15-year-old for naked pictures. Oh my god, he's that guy. Is he in prison yet? Uh, we'll see. Hey, I'd love to hang around more, but I gotta get to class. Where are you headed to? Look, it's the first day! No, good! Now everybody better dress out every class. If you don't, it's a zero. So, gym class, showing our education system is pure evil. Why do you talk like a cartoon? What do you mean? If I talked like a cartoon, I'd go, what's up, Doc? No, it's just this general, ha-ha, I'm random cartoon channel talk. Have you ever watched television for adults? What? Do you mean like porn? No, just normal. Never mind. Huh, because I like some wild porn here and there. You probably couldn't handle it. No one cares, just stop. For a nerd, you're not too smart socially, huh? Hey, I'm just trying to have fun here, and I'm not a nerd. I'm a geek. There's a difference. Sorry, which one grows up to be a rapist, and which one grows up to be a pedophile? Ugh, you and everyone else at this school. I'm sick of being the butt of everyone's jokes. Dude, whatever. The blatant disrespect, snickering behind my back, fake love notes beating me up. Okay, really didn't need your life story here. Stealing my stuff, egging my house, blackmailing me, calling my mom at work and telling her I'm dead. They go that hard here? And hanging me from the bleachers with a rope weak enough to snap right before I choke to death. I'm sick of all of it, and I guess you ought to be on that list too, huh? Hey, what are you cripples doing? Finding new things to cut yourselves with? Uh, well, actually, this weirdo is just hitting on me. Can you believe it? Wow, Jeff, didn't know you liked girls. Who is this Jeff you speak of? The name's Jeffrey, thank you. Yeah, see? More of that cartoon-sounding shit. He won't stop talking to you or something? Yeah, make yourself useful and kick his ass for me. You're hot enough to listen to, sure. Oh, please, no. Not in the face. My glasses are brand new. Can't we just read some manga instead? And so you see, the aperture actually gets wider the lower the f-stop gets. Did I really forget my eyeliner? Ahem. Ahem. Dude, you really need that cough like that. It's kind of annoying. This isn't cosmetics class, Nicole. I know that. So pay attention to the photography lecture in photography class. I'll be done in like two seconds. Just calm down. Now, Nicole. Now nothing. Literally, go fuck yourself. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you disrupt my lecture? It's disrespectful to me and your classmates. You can't trick anyone here into being mad at me when no one gives a shit about your class in the first place. Well, how would you like a failing grade? How would all of you li like a failing grade? I mean, I guess it's fine. It's an elective. Yeah, Mr. White, you can't keep us from graduating. You tell him, Nicole. Shut the fuck up, you finger skateboard bitch. Dude, I was just trying to help. Yeah, you were trying something. How would you like a visit to the counselor's office? The principal's office? Hey, if you think not listening to you talk is discipline, then I'm gone, no problem. <laughs> Out! <laughs> now! 
So fuck photography. Yeah, pretty much. Mr. White acts like his class is so goddamn important. We can take pictures with a camera phone. Who even needs a camera camera anymore? Exactly. Men who teach electives get so insecure when they realize they can't stop anyone from graduating. Bitch, be happy anyone even took your class. It's an art course anyway, like doing your makeup's a huge step down. What's up, you whores? Wow. Hi, Kyler. You shit-talking Mr. White? Yeah, he probably deserves it. What do you want? All right, damn. Did you guys get an invite to Kelly's pool party? It's October. No, her parents are like really rich. It's glass thin and everything. Yeah, and her pool stuff is sick. They got those four foot long syringe water gun things. What are you, 10? Whatever, just a little fun on the side while picking up bitches. I've been here for a year and never once heard of someone having sex with you. I've been here since third grade and haven't heard it. Nuh-uh. Remember freshman year with Jenny Fillmore? She was unconscious. How do you still brag about that? You're like the reason they have women's college. Okay, old news, whatever. You have invites or not? Yeah, me too. How did you get one? You haven't even been here that long. Because I have a nice face and I'm not fat. Okay, well, can I tag along with you guys? This weekend's going to be so boring if I can't go. I don't want to be responsible for you ruining the party, but I also don't want to be responsible for you crashing it out of roid rage. Nicole's choice. Fine. Nicole, I know I called you a whore like two minutes ago, but could you let me go with you just this once? Uh, maybe... But you need a conversation starter if we're going to justify bringing you. Like what? Do something impressive this week. Like... Like... Like put something funny on YouTube. Yeah, actually, not a bad idea. Then everybody can watch it at the party. A video of what, though? You know where photography is? At magazine studios, duh. No dipshit, the photography classroom? Yeah, what about it? The darkroom has a whole bunch of really delicate and expensive equipment. Make a video of you just destroying that shit. Huh, really? What do you think, Jacka? I think Mr. White's reaction would be funnier than the video itself, so go for it. Fine, you're on. See you there this weekend. <laughs> yeah, making friends. It's amazing how men will do anything just to see us with less clothes on. Yeah, it's like there's laws for it or something. God damn it! Why are they still using combination locks? The school's soft. No one steals shit anyway. You still aren't dressed? Yeah, they need thumbprint scanners or some shit. It's 2008, isn't it the future by now? You're gonna be late. No shit. Now, how many spins again? Nailed it! What the fuck? How'd you get in here? There's no lock on the doors. Saw it as a great opportunity for an A-plus in street photography. Did your cartoons tell you to do this? Ahem, <clears throat> anime? Why didn't anime tell you to screenshot a cam girl in public or something? Oh, Nicole. If your brain was as big as your ample breasts, then maybe you'd understand. I'm sorry, do you think you're cool right now? You're a freak. Not even the sex fiend counselor wants to fuck you. Your petty insults will make the development of this photograph all the more satisfying. Cam girls are all cheap digital nonsense. I have captured your succulent figure on medium format film. Every little shadow and highlight of your tantalizing midriff captured the way it was meant to be. If you're gonna sexually harass me, could you not talk like a cartoon character while you do it? I do what I want with my words. I'll also do as I please with this photo. No, come on, just throw the film out. I'm afraid I can't do that. Every boy with a crush on you should pay top dollar for these prints. Or maybe I could hang a giant poster of it out front, humiliating you the way you've humiliated me time after time. What? Because I called you a future pedophile in chemistry last year? Kate, sorry. Now throw it out. You won't convince me otherwise. Huh. Wait, was I at the wrong locker? So, I'm fucked. Totally fucked. Whoa, slow down. It's just a picture of you in your underwear? Like, no nipples or anything? Now that you're asking, I'm suddenly worried one might have been halfway out or something. Does areola count as nipple? That's a good question. Either way, I gotta stop this from being developed. This shit always manages to pop back up in the future. What future? You say you're gonna kill yourself every other day. Well, I wanna go out as a troubled teen philosopher, not some slut in over her head. Even in death, you're manipulative. Sorry if I don't want my legacy to be freaks jacking off to pictures of me. I would die for half the self-esteem of a girl who just assumes the whole school would jerk off to her. Do you think I could, like, persuade Jeffrey to just trash the negative? Yeah, if you had cat ears. And a tail. 
and we're basically a cartoon. Oh, yeah, he's fucked up, I forgot. May as well focus on damage control. It's all you can do. I really hope there's a bomb threat tomorrow. Yeah, my brother was asking this girl out for, like, three months. Three months? Yeah. Did he ask really slowly? Okay, let's just get through the first day of the rest of my ruined life. Hey, Nicole. Here it comes. Did you see what happened to the photography room? Oh. Wait, what? There's a big crowd up there. It's all in pieces. All these chemicals combined on the floor, too. It's basically mustard gas. There she is. Uh-oh, got a dip. What's going on? Don't play dumb. It's obvious it was you. Jeffrey's given me reason to believe you're the one who destroyed the school photo lab last night. Uh, no. I was at home all night mulling over ways to kill myself. In my office. Now. Just want to make it clear one more time that he has no evidence of me doing this. Well, unfortunately, the breadcrumbs all lead to you. Trying to stop him from developing his picture of you, albeit unflattering, is not a reason to destroy thousands in school property. Did you completely glaze over the last ten things I said? He took a picture in the girls' locker room. And I assure you he'll be dealt with soon. But you'll need to learn how to deal with the consequences of revealing attire. Destruction of property is not one of them. I was in the middle of changing? You could have been fully nude. It's still unreasonable. Wait, I didn't break anything. Fuck what I was wearing. Out of the ten students we questioned, no one else had anything close to resembling a motive. We'll go ask ten more. Hey, Miss Lynn, sorry. Just got to school. I'm signing in late again. In the middle of something here. Oh, with the student? Nicole? Hey, I did the video. You better make good with that pool party plus one. What video? Uh, you don't remember? If I posted a viral video, you'd let me go with you? What is this? Get out! No, wait, it's only like a minute, see? Yeah? Yo, what's up? This is Kyler. Let's break this gay-ass photo lab. Oh my god. Fuck photography! It's for people who like animals! Nicole, leave my office. Kyler, could I have a word with you? Yo, yeah, what's up? You're expelled! Did you see Kyler's video? No, what? What's the deal with it? Here, watch it on my phone. <laughs> Crazy, right? Right, Nicole? Huh? Yeah. He did it. He really did it. The music of our year was pretty special when you think about it. Yeah, Soldier Boy wasn't a one-hit wonder. Who knew? I wonder which of them is going to die first after high school. Hey, Nicole. I know we had our differences here and there, but sign my yearbook? No. W what No. And once again, I can't even begin to describe how proud I am of each and every one of you. Representing your class with a speech, your valedictorian. <clears throat> Thank you, Principal Lin and the rest of the faculty, declaring me the valedictorian for class of 09. Schoolwork was always important to me during my tenure here. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> anyway, perhaps another among us could put it better. Nicole? That's okay. Nicole, say a few words. First, I'd like to thank our female authority figure, Miss Lynn, along with her cleavage for symbolizing how the men at this school have treated me here, like a sex object. <gasps> what are you doing? In my two years here, a good 20% of the staff has either asked me on a date or made some other form of sexual advance. I told their supervisors, and they told me to get my grades up. Are you out of your fucking mind? I sent my daughter here! What kind of school is this? I'm calling the news! Hey man, I love to catch an R, but I got homework. It's a weeknight, you know? Nah, I guess you're right. Hey, but one day we'll make something happen. I can't let my sexy student get away now. Oh my god, you're so bad. Your gym coach has been around the block, sweetie. Yeah, well, sorry it didn't work out. I've had less periods than states in America, but again, sorry it didn't work out. 
If your BMI is under 25, you should just automatically get an A. Do something, bitch! Dude, shut up. Who cares? You think you're getting far with that mentality? You gotta nut up, Nicole. Oh, sorry. I didn't know dodgeball was a long-term goal for you. You know, what if? What if it's a long-term goal for me, huh? I'd feel sorry for you, because I'm pretty sure they canceled Extreme Dodgeball like two years ago. You saw that show too? That's sick! You know, you're kind of cool for a girl. Thanks. Uh... Sorry, you're just not a person who warrants return compliments. Man, you're honest too? That's kind of hot. Hey, do you want to, wanna like, hang out later? Are you seriously asking me out while taking dodgeball seriously? No. I mean, well, kinda. It could just be sex. We don't need, like, a whole relationship. But yeah, so I'm pretty into cool shit. You know, not like cool, cool shit, but kind of that step away from the regular cool shit, like just doing my own thing, you know? All I asked was, are you paying for the pizza and you just went into that? Whatever, you know, stuff at school, just on my mind and everything. What do you want to talk about? Lacrosse maybe? Does lacrosse involve beating the shit out of that one kid? What one kid? The one who likes Japan a lot? Jeffrey? What? Oh, yeah, totally. Me and the other guys fuck with his ass all the time. Yeah? How many fingers? Not like that. Just throwing lacrosse balls at him and watching him chump. Nice. Yeah, him suffering just makes me feel good for some reason. Yeah, that's hot. Speaking of that, you know that one girl, Jekka? I can't remember her last name. I know her. She dresses really expensive and everything. She's cool. Yeah, cool, like in a stuck-up bitch way. What'd she do to you? Nothing. But girls with that sort of attitude? I don't know. Like, I want to have sex with her to knock her down a few pegs. What the fuck is wrong with you? How is that wrong? Whatever. All men are rapists anyway. You're just a drop in the bucket. Wow, it's like... It's just the way you don't even give a fuck. It's hot. I like it. All these girls always freaking out over whatever, but you? You want to try, like, going steady? Going steady? People still say that? Like a relationship? Yeah, you could be my girlfriend and everything. What a treat. So how about it? You want to date? Uh, how does hell no sound? What? The 20 minutes I've been here is already way more than I could chew. You don't think athletes are emotional? We could be deep. It's not that you're an athlete. You're a lacrosse player. There's no offhand chance I miss out on a millionaire husband. Literally no one gives a shit about lacrosse but the people who play it. That's not true. My dad likes lacrosse. And did he play it? Yeah, but not right now. Are you pretending to be stupid? There's like no way. This is some big joke, right? No, I, I wouldn't pull a joke on you. I I'm just stupid. Totally retarded. You ever heard that one phrase, we can either choose intelligence or happiness? Um, no. Well, assuming it's real, I don't feel bad telling you to never talk to me again. Your dipshit brain shouldn't take it too hard. N no, you don't, you don't understand. You're not. Are you crying? It's just... No, you're being mean to me. Whoa, hey, um, don't... You know. Maybe Coach was right. Um, sorry? No, it's whatever. I'll just go to the lacrosse convention alone this weekend. That's why I wanted a girlfriend, I guess. Oh, you're going alone? I guess. Whatever. This is awkward. I'll just jump off the roof so I have a good excuse not to go. Uh, do you want me to go to the lacrosse convention with you? You, you would do that? I guess. Oh, cool. I'll pick you up this weekend. Thanks. Can I get some Percocet for going? Oh, yeah. My prescription's on the dresser. Just take it when you walk out. I guess I'm walking out now, then. Nicole? I'm... Uh, no. uh, so how about it? You want a date? No. No? Just like that? Give me a chance, dude. Sorry, but I'm... 
too smart to date you. How am I not smart enough? How? Do you see this room? What, because I like sports? We're not all dumb jocks, you know? Who cares if you like sports? You're just boring. Like, yeah, your coach gives you free Percocet and everything, but how does that make you cool? So, what do I do? Impress me or die trying. So, if I die, you'll be my girlfriend? No, isn't... <sighs> Look, I'm sick of the same boring kid trying to take me out on his parents' money. I want a guy who's not afraid to ruin his life for me. And when I see that, I'll know you're worth dating. Oh. I don't know. Lost interest, huh? Good, nice talking. But I'll do it! What? I don't have it all figured out yet, but like, I'm gonna do some amazing shit to make you love me. You're so worth it for sure. Aw, if I didn't have PTSD, I'd be blushing right now. Awesome! I'll see you at school next week. I got a few things to work on. So, I can go now? Yeah. Is there something wrong? No, just surprised I didn't get sexually assaulted for telling you no. Oh, nah, I wouldn't do that. You want my key? Like, to my house? Why would I want a key to your house? Just letting you know you're, you're always welcome. Take my key. Take it, take my key. Okay. Bring the car around front. What's happening? Why is the counselor in handcuffs? What the fuck is everyone out here for? Today was the school bake sale. Apparently, you picked the worst day to ask a student out. Oh my god, another pedophile. Tell me about it. Hey, Nicole! Look! On the roof! Oh my god, what's going on? Impress now! Kyler, get down from there! Oh, I will. I'm gonna jump! For you, Nicole! Holy shit! Oh my god. What the fuck? Are you serious right now? You said you wanted someone not boring, so I'm gonna stick the ultimate landing! <laughs> you told him to do this? Well, first I told him to fuck off, but he wouldn't take no for an answer. One girl isn't worth the rest of your life. Don't kill yourself! I'm not! If I stick the landing, I won't be hurt at all! Saw it on my space! Oh my god, stop him, Nicole. Why? He's got it figured out. I can't have two pedophile arrests and a student attempting suicide in one week. Really need to keep this job. Fine. Uh, Kyler? What? If you jump, I'll be your girlfriend for sure. I never thought you were serious about this. I am. I love you more than lacrosse. And if we're still together in two years, I'll marry you after graduation. <gasps> what the fuck are you doing? Oh, sick. Here goes nothing. Oh, he really oh, jumped. Oh, oh, Ow. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. My legs are in pieces! Somebody call 911! Somebody already did. Step aside. I'll have to call his parents. How severe is it? I'm no doctor, but I don't think he'll ever walk again. What? Let's go. But lacrosse! Will I be able to play lacrosse? Well, if you can't walk... Oh my god! Nicole! Nicole! What? I'm right here. It's fucked up, but I don't think I'll be able to support us as a pro lacrosse player anymore. That was the plan? But it doesn't mean anything. We'll figure it out together. Right? Sorry. I only date men who can walk. What? But I did all this for you! I didn't ask for all this. But now I, c I can't walk! Sucks to be you, dude. <laughs> All right, go! Nicole, do you need to talk? About what? How men do stupid shit for you when you're pretty? Well, I've been there too, but... Okay, you're fine. Nicole, get it together! The government forces me to be here, and you expect me to try at volleyball? God damn it, our team keeps fucking losing! So fucking gay! What's your problem? You fucking whore! Shut up! Hey, coach, are we just... Okay, no discipline for that one. Gone. I didn't get into lacrosse camp! Such bullshit! Well, maybe just get better at it? No, you don't understand. Like, there's all these dumbass, underprivileged student passes. They're doing so many that, like, 20% of the sports are automatically filled. All these Mexican kids act like America's so racist when they got the fucking red carpet rolled out for everything. You mean, like, affirmative action? I think that's what they call it. I call it fucking gay! Who's with me?
just shut up and pass the ball. I gotta serve. What? How could you side with that? No one gives a shit but you and men who smoke at chain restaurant bars. Oh yeah, nothing matters unless you care. I see how it is. Can you just assume you won the argument so I can stop hearing this? Fucking women gotta go too, dude. I wanna move to the Middle East, a country that stones loud women to death. Sorry, what country is that? I just said, the Middle East? For such a smartass, you don't know books too good. But that's beside the point. Fuck what? I call it fucking- Hey, you wanna calm down and just listen to rap music or something? Everyone in their fucking rap music now? Whatever happened to classic rock? Or, or country? You know, like real music? Classic rock's classic for a reason. It sucks now. Oh yeah, you probably don't even know where to find it. Where do you find it? Off graphic tees at failing anchor stores? No. Yes, fuck you. I want rap music off the radio so wigger kids like you could suffer. How am I a wigger? Just like, liking black people or something, whatever. But that's beside the point. Just get your grades up, Nicole. Uh-huh. And also, if you could stop writing death to pedophiles on all the whiteboards, that would be great. Promoting violence is so vulgar. But don't pedophiles deserve to die? Nicole, no one deserves to die. Wow, that's really peaceful of you. I used to be as brash as you at a young age, but then I found a release so satisfying it drained every drop of anger I had. Was it pedophilia? Oh, how dare you! You didn't say no. That, that's enough for today. Kindly leave. Finally, goddamn. She almost got me that time.